Hey you guys. I recently started a, an oil painting commission for a customer. Uh, I did a rough first. The rough is about 4 by 5 inches. I plan to do the uh, original 18 by 24 so that scales up perfectly. And uh, he okayed the rough and I did, as you'll see, I didn't stick, um, I, I stuck to the rough generally but not, not very specifically. And um, did another tighter drawing and uh, then transferred that um, to a piece of paper that would uh, be easy to project um, onto the 18 by 24 board. You can see I've marked the center point. Uh, that makes it easier to align the quadrants. And, and you'll also notice in the final painting I added a lot more area on the right. I could have just done it like this, but I felt it was a little um, too orderly pyramidal sort of uh, compositionally. So next step uh, after transferring it onto the board and pencil is I went in with oil paint and um, basically did a, an underpainting and I'm using uh, uh, oil colors that are Holbein water soluble so you can use turpentine or you can use water and I'm so glad they invented these things because I don't have to breathe in turpentine fumes anymore which are of course highly toxic. So then the next uh, stage, uh, basically gone in with some colors, uh, darken the shadow areas a bit. I'm using ochre and I'm using, um, shut up you stupid cat, stop that. And um, uh, picking between um, ultramarine blue and cobalt. Cobalt is, tends to be a sky blue and I knew there was going to be some sky light uh, coming through the water. Um, but right now I'm working warm and what I'm going to do is I'm, on this painting I'm going to work warm to cool so I'm using the warmer earth tones now there's even burnt sienna in this which is, which is basically a pretty pretty hot orange and uh, I'll be see how everything's cooled off a good bit here now this is one phase of uh, painting over painting with um, cooler colors um, various types of blue some of the blues I've keyed down by mixing with a little bit of other stuff, uh, yellow ochre and things like that. I also used a rag to uh, rub in the paint and uh, get a sort of a smooth quality in the background. But there's a good bit of stuff done to the figures here, as you can tell. And because of the addition of blue, you'll notice it's created an illusion that the orange is actually more yellow than it is, which is just the nature of the way uh, colors work. Then, um, next uh, is just an, uh, more working, uh, uh, cooling off uh, some of the figures and things like that, continuing to work with things, um, putting down more blue that's been mixed with white um, so that it uh, really adequately covers the canvas. Uh, basically more work done here. And then um, another session. Each of these sessions can be rather short. Uh, or long, depending. But uh, I basically work on the thing and uh, solve a bunch of problems. Uh, continue to add things um, and then get to the point where I stop and I allow the paint to dry. Now I also use a, a, a thing called um, a dryer. God, I can't remember what this stuff's called offhand. Well anyway, I do use a dryer and man, when you mix that stuff with the paint, it uh, dries, it starts getting really tacky in about 20 minutes. So here's where we are right now. This is the latest phase, and I can't really see too many more after this. There'll probably be about two. And one thing I want to do um, is create a few more solid areas. Uh, solid areas of color won't attract the eye. Put the signature on there and so on. And uh, we should have a finished painting. So that's how I do it.